our text today in Isaiah chapter 50, we find an interesting conversation that God has with his people. And he talks to them about how they choose to live. And sometimes God sits down and has a conversation with us about the same subject. How do we choose to live our lives? Beginning in verse 10, who among you fears the Lord and obeys his servant? If you were walking in darkness without a ray of light, trust in the Lord and rely on your God. But watch out. You who live by your own light and warm yourself by your own fires, this is the reward you will receive from me. You will soon fall down in great torment. So God said, listen, I'll be the light in your life. God said, I'll give you direction in life. I'll give you revelation in life. His word is light. His, he, he will guide us and teach us how to live by the word. But he said, you know, if you're going to be your own light, if you're going to be your own source of instruction, and if you're going to live by what your own hands can produce, you're going to warm yourself by your own fires, you're going to provide for yourself. God said, when you choose to live by what you think is right and wrong and by the choices you want to make for your life and by yourself as your own provider, he said, this is a reward you're going to receive from me. He said, you will soon fall down in great torment. See, God, God wants to be our provider. God wants to be the light into our life. God wants to direct our paths. He continues in Isaiah 51, verse 2. Yes, think about Abraham, your ancestor, and Sarah, who gave birth to your nation. Abraham was only one man when I called him. But when I blessed him, he became a great nation. Now, beloved, we've walked the journey for a long time together. When God blessed you, things changed in your life. Many of you, when God blessed you, your careers blossomed and flourished, and you who were a nobody now have become a somebody. Many of you, you had a very small little business, but when God blessed you, your business began to prosper and thrive. At some point, you need to recognize that everything you have in life is because of the blessings of God upon your life. May I beg of you to fear the Lord? May I beg of you to obey the Lord? Choose the life you're going to live. If you want to walk in what you think is right and wrong and you want to be your own provider, there's nothing but destruction ahead for you. But if you will fear God, respect God, and obey God, God's blessings will come upon your life. And though we start small, we become great. Music